You peek from behind the locker and find Jungkook there. You start to blush as soon as you see him. He has been your crush since four years, but you never got the courage to tell him. You get to meet him quite often because his sister, Juhi, is your best friend. You take a deep breath and decide to go toward Jungkook, but you stop when you see a girl approaching him and tap his shoulder. She hands him a gift and smile, then she runs away. You are watching this with sadness when suddenly Jungkook looks towards you, making your eyes widen. You quickly place your hair in front of your face and stuck yourself against the locker. You start going, but suddenly his rainy hand comes in front of you, making your eyes widen. You look towards him through the corner of your eye. Why, what's up? Do you need something from me? Jungkook, take this and hand it to Juhi. I don't need it. Why, you can give it to her yourself too. He just handed it out to you and walked away from there. You look around and sighing in relief as no one saw you there but Jungkook. In the classroom, Juhi arrived and sat beside you. She was looking annoyed. You shipped a gift to her, making her confused. Juhi, wow, why? Did you buy something for me? Why, no, your brother told me to hand you this. Some girl gave this to him. Suddenly, so someone hit you from behind. You turned and saw it was the girl who gave that gift to Jungkook. Girl, you thief, you stole this from my Jungkook. I gave him this morning. Juhi, here you butthead. How dare you to hurt my bestie and why you even gave my brother that gift? Do you think he was like a hoe like you? They both start fighting while you were trying to calm them. You are a soft-hearted girl, so you stay away from these matters. Why not trying to take it back? We don't want it. Juhi, why are you taking a side? Why, no, but she gave it to Jungkook and he gave it to me and I gave it to you. So it's belong to her. Juhi, tape your mouth. This is our now and you. She got cut off when you suddenly, the professor entered the class. Everyone greeted him and the class started. Your mind was stuck on Jungle Cave. You want to see what is inside. Your thought got interrupted when you saw Juhi was opening the gift box. Juhi, oh gosh, why the hell she gave my brother this action figure? He is not some sort of kid. Even though I don't like this stuff here, you keep it. I know you like to collect them. Why, no, how can I take it? Jungle will be upset. Juhi, hey, he know I don't like these things. Just take it and yeah, don't forget about coming with me to my house after college. Why, but why? I have to attend my business classes. Juhi, ah, uh, don't start making this come over. Don't worry, Jungkook won't bother us. Why, he's your elder brother, respect him a bit. Juhi, yeah, yeah, stop favoring him. After classes, you are going out with Juhi. Juhi, oh no, I forgot my phone in my locker. Wait, I'm coming in a moment. Children go and call Braston. He is going to drive us home. Your eyes widen at her work. She left without letting you speak. You look around and see him in the crowd, playing basketball with his friends. You slowly take a step forward toward him. He was looking so hot while playing. You see him cheering for his team members. When suddenly you grab his shirt from side, making him look down at you. You look down at the floor. You feel like your words get stuck in your throat. His friends look at you both, but stop. When Jungle glared at them, he sang a slowly murmur. Why, Juhi told me to tell you that you are going to drop us home. He does known and start going. You follow him from behind, but suddenly a basketball hit you from behind harshly, making you lose your balance. You fall in front, and stand off ground, you end up hitting Jungle hard back. Jungle turned and saw you holding your forehead and nose. Jungkook, are you fine? I'm sorry. From their side, let's go. You blushed lightly when you saw him checking your face as if he was finding any intrigue there. I said and he crescent as you both eyes meet. You saw Juhi coming towards you both, so you rushed toward her to decrease the heat between you and Jungkook. In the car, you were sitting with Juhi on the back seat. She fell asleep so soon while you were getting bored. You decided to do something. You took out your sketchbook and started drawing. You looked toward Jungkook, whose eyes were focused on the room. You smiled and draw his eyes, and soon it was done. So you wrote the name and wrote the short note. On it as usual, I wish just eyes would look at me in the way I wanted. At the Juhi's room, you both were sitting idly. Juhi sighed in frustration and said, Juhi, let's be truth and dare. I can't think of anything else for now. 
you surely know when she start the game and her stand on Juhi, she chooses there. When I know he really liked James from a second year, she got a confessy feelings to him. Juhi, dude, he was just one of my crushes, which was long ago. If you say so, I will do it. Juhi called James and told him that it was a dare, and she confessed her love to him, but he rejected her, as he already has a girlfriend. He gulped down, regretting her decision. Why, I'm really sorry. I didn't know it would end up like this. Juhi, ha <laughs> ha, dude, I don't even care about it. Let's continue. This time it landed on you, say so choose troll. Juhi, fine, tell me who is your crush. Your eyes widen at a question. You look down and bite her lip before whispering. Tongue of name. She laughed out aloud and stand up like she get victory in something. Juhi, I knew it, even though I'm single, I easily guess this. What's your choice with you? Why did you even like that cool guy? Why, I don't know, just happened. Juhi, yeah, so when you're going to tell him? Why, I don't know, I will ever be because he never even glanced at me. Juhi, not gonna lie, but he'll look at you more than he'll look at his own sister. Why, really? You must be giving me hopes. I'm not his type. Juhi, and how can you say that? Just give it a try. What if he like you? He is too introvert. Maybe he is hiding his feeling as well. Why, I don't think so. Stop risking my hope. Let's drop the topic for now. Gee, no, 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 I'm gonna have you in this eye. Can't see my cute, sweetheart, sad and desperate for someone. Let's go to the kitchen. Why, for what? I didn't even know how to cook. Juhi, go and make cake. Jungkook loves cake. You smile, hearing that, and went to the kitchen while Juhi yawned and lay back on the bed and fell asleep. In the kitchen, you tie your hairs and collect cake supplies. Then you start making one with a smile. You flinch when you hear the sound of the fridge being opened from behind. You turn and see Jungkook. Jungkook, are you making something? Um, did Yuhi force you to cook? Why, no, no, I'm just making a cake. Jungkook, want any help? I was free right now. Your heart start beating like crazy. You slowly note and tell him to melt chocolate till you start making the mixture. He help you. You were wiping the bowl when suddenly Junko gets so close to you, making you breathe his. Juhi, who was in the room, comes out and saw this. She quickly took out her phone and clicked the photo without making any noise. Junko took the spatula from the side and moved back. You become tomato, but didn't say anything. Junko, are you fine? You seem too red. Do you have a fever? You just shook your head and started cooking again. Suddenly a blood drop come out from your nose. You sang and this happened often to you. You know it happened when you every time when Jungkook came near you. You took the cotton from nearby and stuck it in your nose. Jungkook noticed it and said, Jungkook, is everything alright? You usually stuffed it in your nose. You should go and see a doctor. Why, well, I know I'm fine. It's just because of heat. Jungkook, but the AC is already on. You don't know what excuse you should give. Him, so you just excuse yourself and leave to check the key. When well, you can go now, I will do the rest of the work. He just known and then left. Juhi came out like a flash and hit your shoulder playfully. Juhi, see, I told you, he also like you back. Now stop hesitating and try to gift him and get closer to him. I will make sure to get you both along. When well, if that happened, I will be so lucky. I always wanted that. Juhi, oh, the cake is already cooked. Let me taste it. You look at her innocently as she was about to take a spoop of cake, but she stopped and chuckled. Juhi, fine, first let him taste the cake. You smile and take the cake, best part, and went to a jungle room. You knock on his room door. He soon came out, and as soon as he saw you, he shut his room door behind you as he was hiding something in his room. Fine, I bought this cake for you. Please take a taste. Jungle, uh, it's fine. I'm on diet. I can't eat it. Fine. Oh, oh, that's fine then. You say in a mumble. It's not yours, you. Cook it for him. You suddenly start falling, but stop when he grab your wrist. Jungle, I can take a bite of it. You made it with hard work after all. A small smile appeared on your face as you see him taking a slice of cake. Jungle, mmm, it's yummy. You're going to be one good wife. You again become tomato, hearing that. He just stood and fastly ran away. The next day at college, you went there early. You prepare a handmade bouquet for Jungkook. Even though you end up getting cuts in your hand by the gauge wire, 
you placed the bouquet on the jungle table when no one was in the hall. Suddenly, someone tapped your shoulder, making your eyes widen. You girl and turned. You saw Jungkook, who was looking at you with no emotions. Jungkook, do you want something? As the time passed, you gave Jungkook so many hints and gifts in hope that he would say something to you, but he never did. It made you so upset, but your hope and crush on him grew more and more. You start thinking if it's not him, then no one. You couldn't even focus on your studies as they usually keep making Jungkook drawings and watch his pictures again and again so many times like some crazy obsessive stalker right now. You were sitting in the canteen eating your food silently, staring at Jungkook who was sitting on the other corner. Juhi, why don't stress yourself? Just confess your love to him. I can't see you in this much pain. I don't want you to regret later. And do you know how much this is affecting your health? Fine, fine. Then I will ask him out and tell him my feelings. You went over Jungkook in full rage to ask him out with you. You sit in front of him and close your eyes before saying, Why, Jungkook, please come and meet me at your house near my park. I will be waiting for you. You said this. Time skip at the park. You were waiting for Jungkook to arrive. You saw him coming there. He was wearing his football jacket, in which he was looking soft and kind. He stopped in front of you while you were looking down. You were holding the sketch you made of him. Why, Jungkook, I want to confess something to you. Jungkook, you want to say that you love me, right? You get shocked at the thought. He already said that. You girl by known. Then you take a deep breath and say, Van, I really want to tell you how much I... I have loved you since four years. I was so scared at the thought of you rejecting me. I have always loved you. I know I am not your idol type or whatever, but I want to confess this to you. Please tell me your answer. Jungle, look, I already have someone. So forget about me and stop disturbing me by giving me this gift. I don't like friendly people. He says and walk away from there, leaving you behind. When you realize he was gone, do you start coming out from your eyes? You begin to cry loudly like a baby. Why? But why? I love you first. His sketch fell from your hand and got spread and flew away because of the heavy wind. You watched them going away, so you rushed after them to catch them. You saw one of the sketch between the roads. You take a step forward to pick it up, not even looking at the car it was coming towards you. You were about to pick the sketch when someone pulled you back on the side, making you fall back on the ground. Your forehead ended up getting hit with stone nearby making blood come out from there. You weakly turned and saw Juhi. She was breathing heavily, as if she come here by running there. Juhi, are you an idiot? What is something that happened to you? Stop thinking about that. Jock, he doesn't deserve you. You sat beside her and start crying badly. Why, would I really like him? Why can't he give me a chance? I love him so much. She slaps you and shakes you by her shoulder. Juhi, come in your right mind. Do you even know how much loss you are having? The top of wine failed in the exam. Just because she suddenly got crazy after a crush, I shouldn't have encouraged you for that. Why, it's too hard for me. I promise I won't do anything stupid again. I won't even love again, anyone. You murmured the last word before falling unconscious because of the heavy blood flow from your forehead. Juhi gasped and screamed for help. You woke up and found yourself in the hospital. Juhi was by your side, sobbing. Why I did I fall unconscious? I'm sorry to waste your time. Juhi, oh my gosh, finally you are awake. I was scared to death. Why I'm fine. My head just hurt a little. You said this with a light smile to reassure her. But then you saw Jungkook entering the ward, breaking a spy drop. Juhi turned at your expression and saw him as well. She got so angry that she grabbed his collar. Juhi, you fucking jerk. Why you even take gift from her and talk nicely to her when you don't even like her? Why, Juhi, left him. We can't force him to love me. I was so dumb to accept him. I'm sorry to bother you both. You see and lightly bow to them. Juhi, take Jungkook away from there. While you sit there, thinking about your bad luck. The next day in college, you were putting your things in your locker. You saw Jungkook at his locker too. He looked toward you and pointed toward the bandage at your forehead. Asking if it still hurt, you ignored him and walked away. Jungkook sighing softly and looked down. Knowing he had hurt you with his words sadly, he smiled and said, Jungkook, soon you will understand why I did that. Six months passed like this. It was best to ignore Jungkook. So 
so that you will forget about him, but your heart denies all your forces. Just after graduation, you get a good job offer.